Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about over 10 fabrics that you can sew with this summer that are easy and summer friendly. So if that is interesting to you, stick around and you can learn more about these beautiful fabrics. I compiled a list of things that you should look for when looking for summer fabrics. So the very first thing that you want to look for is whether or not this particular fabric is breathable. So if you want something that is um, going to uh, accommodate your needs in the summer, and most of us, we need something that is lightweight and something that won't stick to our body. So that's exactly what you're going to look for. You're going to look for fabrics that are breathable, that can dry really quickly if you sweat or anything like that. Um, so that way you don't have to be hot and remain sticky and icky. So that's the first thing that you want to look for. The second thing is you wanna look for lightweight fabrics, right? So you want something with a really light drape because you don't want to be hot. Again, going back to uh, being hot, your fabric choice really matters if you don't want to be hot. So look for those light, weight, breathable fabrics. And we'll talk about that uh, throughout the duration of the video. And then also you want something that's really easy to wash. You don't really want to be um, uh, trying to care for fabrics in the summertime, um, whether you are washing at a laundromat or at home, you know, washing clothes very often and um, having your dryer run a lot, you will get hot. And I'm telling you, it will not be pretty. I will provide links to some of the resources that I have found for this video um, and the things that I have researched. In the description box below, you can click on those links, follow those links, and then do some more uh, reading and some more research so that you know what types of fabrics you want to sew with for this summer. Okay, so let's go ahead, get into the video, and let me show you some of these beautiful fabrics that you can sew up this summer. Okay, so let's start with this first piece here. This is a vol or a voil. Um, it's pronounced both ways. I myself pronounce it as a vol, and I'll put the name of this fabric on the screen here. Now, this is a piece that was purchased from Moot Fabrics about a year and a half or so ago. It's a really beautiful, beautiful piece, as you can see here. Now, vol fabrics are most likely made with cotton. It's a sheer lightweight cotton material that's usually delicate, it has a tight weave, and it's usually used for curtains, blouses, dresses, um, and uh, nightwear, or some type of pajamas or anything like that. Now, if you make a dress out of this or top, you might have to uh, put an underlay under your your dress or your top, maybe a slip or a halter top or a cami or something like that, just because it's it's very sheer and it's uh, see-through, most vols are. Now it just depends on the print that you get and the color that you get. Uh, some vols are more sheer than others. Um, I've had black vols where I did not see anything underneath as much as long as I was not wearing something like a white or something like that. So that is an option for summer if you want to take, um, if you want to stay cool. It's breathable and it's really soft and lightweight, depending on the type of cotton. And most vols are has a soft hand to them, so that is definitely an option for summer. Now next are our shirting fabrics. Shirting fabrics are usually um, plaid type fabrics. Usually you see those types of prints, um, some type of checkered flat, um, fabric, or uh, but you can get them in other types of prints as well, or you can even get solid color um, shirting fabrics as well. Now this one came from Joanne Fabrics. It is a little bit stiffer than most shirting fabrics that I have worked with in the past, 
but nonetheless, it is somewhat lightweight. Unlike your vol fabrics, the shirting fabrics are not going to be uh, sheer, so you don't have to worry about lining them. And they usually have a really soft hand and a slightly uh, stiffer drape than the vol. So it's not going to, to move exactly the same as a vol. Um, because the vol is so lightweight, when the wind picks it up, it just kind of have this really nice soft drape to it. Now this one is going to be a little bit stiffer. But again, because it's cotton, most shirting fabrics, they're going to be your cotton fabrics, so they're going to be breathable and they are going to be durable as well. So always a really nice um, choice for summer. Next, you have your cotton sateens. Now, cotton sateens come in many different forms. So you can have a bottom weight type cotton sateen. These are more heavier fabrics. They're going to have a very stiff drape, or you can select a lightweight cotton sateen, such as this beautiful floral fabric here. This is kind of like a shirt weight uh, cotton sateen, so it's going to be very, very soft. You have a sheen on the top of the fabric, which is really nice, and it adds to the soft hand of the sateen. Now, the sateen fabrics are very fun, um, just simply because they are mercerized fibers. And um, basically, what that means is you have cotton uh, that is woven into sat a satin weave. And so you have that sheeny uh, face uh, on the fabric because of it. And then also it has a really nice uh, smooth drape and they're very delicate as well. So with most cotton sateens, you wanna make sure that you pay special attention to the type of needle that you're using, just simply because these fabrics are very delicate. Uh, the same goes for vol fabrics as well. They're very delicate, so you will need a needle to accommodate for that. But look at that beautiful, beautiful drape. Um, I have a dress actually made up in a mercerized cotton sateen. So I'll go ahead and put that here so you can see what that looks like. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful drape. And if you're looking for something that is light, very breathable, and very um, nice for summer, the cotton sateen, in my opinion, would be the best way to go, um, especially if you are someone like me who like your natural fibers. Next, you have your rayon chalet. Now, a lot of people refer to these types of materials as just rayon. Rayon can be applied to many different fabrics. So you do have rayon knits as well as rayon woven fabrics. We're talking about rayon chalet, which is a stable, fabric that is not a knit. It has a soft hand and a very smooth drape. This is another popular choice. So next to cotton sateen and vols, this is a very, very popular choice. And most people go with um, this, these types of fabrics for summer for a number of reasons. Number one, like I said, it has a really soft hand and a smooth drape. So it's really nice for apparel fabrics. And then also rayon chalets tend to be a blend between natural fibers and synthetic fibers. So you're really getting the best of both worlds here. So you're getting um, the blend offers uh, the natural fibers, which will help with breathability and the synthetic fibers offer that soft drape and that smooth hand. So you're getting the best of both worlds. And that's why a lot of people choose this particular uh, fat type of fabric when they want a summer garment. So the combination between the, the cotton and the synthetic fibers offer for a really nice garment. So this is definitely a beautiful choice for summer. So here's a rayon knit 
and this also would be a really great choice for summer so although this uh, rayon 100 percent rayon is man-made uh, you can get some very thin variations of rayon knit which are very perfect for summer so like this piece here from mood fabrics it is a very very lightweight and it will be perfect for like a dress top or some type of skirt just really nice even a shawl or a, a cover-up uh, would be really nice with this type of fabric as well just simply because it's light and weight now because this is a 100% rayon knit fabric it's not going to absorb moisture like a fabric that has 100 natural fibers however it is breathable and so this would definitely be a decent choice for summer you can also purchase a 100 cotton knit fabric as well if you're concerned about the fabric not absorbing moisture so. so next on the list is your gauze fabric now i don't have any gauze on hand just simply because it's not a fabric that I sew it at all. Gauze is a fabric that is thin. It has a loose open weave. And so this is going to be perfect for summer because it's breathable and it will give you the drape and the hand that you are looking for, especially if you like natural fibers. Okay, so this is one of my favorites. This is a chambray and chambray is sometimes mixed with the cotton linen these materials tend to be very breathable very lightweight and as you can see here it's a little bit translucent you can see my fingers a little bit through through it um, these types of materials are usually uh, cotton fabric made with a, a dyed yarn and so they're really soft they're thin it's uh, a little thinner than denim um, and so it's more breathable. So it's really nice. It has that soft drape there. Um, again, it's going to be close to your vols. So it's going to be a little bit heavier than your vols, but not as heavy as your cotton sateen. So next you have your linen or your linen rayon blend. So with the linen, the 100% linen, this is going to be somewhat stiff, especially when you first receive it and you will have to soften it a little bit. Um, I usually use um, like a, a baking soda or something like that in my wash to soften the fibers up a little bit, um, or I get the linen rayon blend. The linen rayon blend is really nice because you have a softer drape, a softer hand, and all you have to do is wash it one time and it is just very nice, very drapey. Um, and that rayon with the linen is just really nice. Um, and as you can see with this piece here that I purchased from Joann's a couple of years ago, it has a really nice drape there. Most linens do not drape like this, especially if it's a 100% linen. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a moment. This is the rayon linen blend. So you're going to get a softer drape, a softer text or texture on the face of the fabric. And then also because it is linen and because linen is a natural fiber, it is going to be breathable. However, it's not as breathable as cotton. And then also you have to account for the fact that you do have rayon in this as well. So it's not going to be as breathable as 100% cotton. So here is a 100% linen fabric that I picked up from Fabric Mart Fabrics. And as you can see, without me even opening this up, you can see that it is a stiffer drape than the previous one. Very nice and blue, but as you can see, very stiff drape. Um, but again, it's 100% linen, and so it is going to be breathable, and you will be able to soften it with a couple of washes. And so that will help um, uh, make it so that it's not as stiff. So that's something that you can always do, but your linen is going to be a really great 
choice for summer because it is breathable, especially, especially the 100% linen. So this is a cotton poplin. This piece was purchased from Mood Fabrics and it's a really nice piece because it's very lightweight, very breathable, and I really love the print. Now with your cotton poplins, it's going to have a silky face, so it's going to have more of a silky and smooth face than a quilting cotton. Most quilting cottons, you cannot use them for apparels. Most people do, but they are usually very stiff. So this here is going to be almost like a ball, but not quite. It's a little heavier. Some cotton poplins, depending on the weave, um, they are uh, a little bit translucent. And so you do have that going for it and it's very light. And like I said, it's cotton, so it will be breathable. Now, before I get into this next one here, I do want to say that you do also have the option of getting a cotton blend. So you have your cotton poly and your cotton rayon blends and the drape and the hand of these fabrics are determined by the percentage of the fibers in each blend. These fabrics are generally blended as follow and I'll go ahead and put the list here so you can see what that looks like because it is quite confusing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rayon. So you'll have something like a 50% cotton blended with a 50% rayon or a 60% cotton blended with a 40% rayon, or a 70% cotton blended with a 30% rayon. Personally, I like the 50-50 cotton rayon because I like the breathability that cotton has to offer, but I also like the fluid drape of the rayon. Now this here is a lightweight denim, and lightweight denims are usually 100% cotton, and they are shirt weight denims, so they are usually um, in weight, 4.5 ounces to eight ounces. They're very comfortable to wear and you can make shirts, dresses, skirts, and tops with them. So they are a very summer friendly fabric because again, cotton, so they're breathable and comfortable to wear. They usually have a somewhat uh, soft face on the fabric. And here's the drape. So in terms of cotton, um, some cottons tend to be very stiff. It just depends on, for denim, it just depends on the weight of the fabric. So basically an eight ounce uh, denim shirt is going to be slightly stiffer than a seven ounce. And then your 4.5 ounce or your three ounce is going to be, um, it's not going to be as stiff as your eight ounce because it's lighter. So yeah, really love this here. I believe this one's like a four ounce denim purchased from Hobby Lobby. Let's see, I think about three or four years ago. So I made a dress out of it, or not a dress, sorry. I made a skirt out of it. I'll show you what that skirt looks like. It was a tiered skirt and I had some leftover and I was supposed to make a matching top and I never got around to doing it. Hopefully I could do that pretty soon, but it's really nice and it has a really nice drape to it. So I really like this and I would definitely say that this denim, lightweight denims are the way to go for summer because they are cotton and uh, the breathability is just amazing. Now, if you want to make something for the lower half of your body, like if you just want a simple denim skirt or a pair of pants that you want to make, but you also want it to be breathable and not bulky or heavy type jean material, I would definitely say go with a really lightweight uh, denim or like a tinsel type fabric. These are amazing. Uh, they're very thin and very lightweight. So I would say this one is anywhere from 3.5 to maybe 4.5 in weight. And basically that just means that it's very lightweight for a denim, as you can see here, <laughs> just so lightweight. Um, so that would be a really great option if you want to make a pair of pants, but you don't want 
anything heavy. You want something extremely lightweight and breathable. Try um, a really lightweight tinsel or a really lightweight denim. Lastly, you can make something with a sheer fabric such as organza or some type of tool or lace or something like that. This here is a very lightweight organza fabric and it is so beautiful. I purchased this from uh, Zalu Fabrics and I really love the color on this. Uh, these types of fabrics, because um, they are synthetic fibers, uh, they're not going to be as breathable, but they are sheer fabrics. And most of these are very, very like see-through fabrics. Uh, and you have to wear something underneath of, or you have to create a lining for them. And so, but again they're going to be so light like almost like a feather and so the wind will pick them up so if you sweat or anything like that um you know that won't stay long on your garment not as breathable but has a soft hand and very um uh, transparent or you know see-through so that's a plus for this type of fabric they are usually low in density with a thin thread count. So you will have to make sure that you will have to pay close attention to the type of needle that you use because you it's very easy to snag these fabrics. Make sure that your needle is fresh and it's not dull because you can, like I said, snag it. Uh, other than that, um, these are really nice fabrics to work with. They're fun to play with, uh, but they are they are going to be a little bit more high maintenance than your cottons, your chambrays, your linen. This is going to be a little bit more high maintenance. Here's a list of honorable mentions. Please check the description box below for links to learn more about these summer friendly fabrics. If you have any questions about anything in this video, please make sure that you leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching today. I hope you have a great sewing week. Bye.